Call of Duty has become such a big phenomenon. We have millions and millions of people playing, you know, every night. So we needed to do something that was outside of that norm. And that's where this concept of compete, customize, create comes from. You know, we talked about competition, customization, and creation in the game. And each one of those pillars that we use to drive development has its own kind of really big feature. With Create, we really wanted to give you the bigger ability to do your Create a Class. So the way the Create a Class works is now, as I earn COD points, I can buy the weapons that I've unlocked. We've added currency because we want to give players more choice. You know, I don't want to grind for, for, you know, hours and hours and hours to get that one attachment. I want to have, when I unlock a weapon, I've got currency. I can choose how I want to spend my currency. So what this allows me to do is if I unlock a sniper rifle, I get the amount of currency equal to that when I rank progress. But I don't need to spend it on a sniper rifle. I can say, ah, I don't need that. I'm going to go spend it on my SMG. I'm going to deck it out with some cool camo. I'm going to add you know, extended mags or a cool sight or a cool reticle. And it allows me to make the weapon mine, which is a real sort of big tenant for the team. On the competition side, this is sort of the bread and butter of multiplayer. You know, this is why people go online to, to, play, to play multiplayer is for the competition. So we've had to add a bunch of new tools, um, new weapons, new kill streaks, new perks, new equipment types. Um, perhaps the most exciting thing for me is that we've added a new tactical kind of way to play the game with the equipment category. It's the third new category to your gear. So you have your two grenades, you have your primary, your, your lethal and your tactical grenade, and you also have your equipment category. Um, the equipment category can kind of be a game changer, depending on how you use your equipment. If you plan on the world, for example, the motion sensor is sort of like a little mini UAV. It gives you a, a pulse around the radius of the, of the motion sensor and shows up the red dots on your mini map. So you can use it very tactically to defend a location. Camera spike is another example of that. You can see a remote camera view wherever you plant that thing in the world. So, you know, there's a lot of new tools that we've given to players to compete. We've got competition, customization, creation, those are our big pillars for multiplayer.